G'day guys, welcome back. It's been a while, I know. What a height of activity it is here at uh, Heathcote HQ. Just a, uh, I've just been so busy. Uh, as you can see, the um, alpacas have all been sheared. That was last weekend's job, so I didn't get any time to really do any footage for you. So he's gonna have a play around again this weekend and see what we can come up with. Just have a bit of fun. Um, the other great thing is, yeah, we're out of lockdown. So, not long now. Probably go on some Christmas holidays and um, get the camper out and actually do some Holmesy's Adventure cooking. So we're just doing a bit of a clean up around here. I've got Melissa with me. Uh, Jess is with me, he's on my uh, CRF 450 having a bit of a go and I'm going to walk up here rather quickly see if we can get Melissa we just bought a, a uh, what is it, KLX 110 so she's uh, having a bit of a burl around on that let's just go see if we can capture her here she comes She's having fun. Yeah, so we're just doing a bit of work at the farm. A bit of clean up before Chrissy. I don't think I've showed you the old mule. That's the other little toy that I've got to play with. As I said, Jesse's cruising around on the Honda, making plenty of dust. Yeah. Think you can handle it, mate, or what? Yeah. That's good. Anyway, it is a cooking show. So later on, what we're going to do tonight is something pretty standard, what I've already done. I'm going to get the fire going, and I'm just going to do some chips and some nice steak sandwiches in Turkish rolls again. I've done that before, I know. But I've got the kids with me, and it's just a simple little thing to do. guys a little bit of the guys having fun kids it's pretty warm at the moment um i've just got a fire going i don't even know what time it is um what is a bloody time 4 30 that's good don't certainly don't need a fire obviously because it's warm but i'm going to cook on this tonight so there she is. Beautiful. Just a little one. Get some coals. Uh, what I might do is, I've been building this construction now for a while. I've got to finish the deck, and but I'm going to grab myself a beer and go back to my chair. It's too early for tea now, so I'll see you later. G'day guys, welcome back. It's that time of day. I think, what is it, about 5.30, 6 o'clock, Melissa? Mm -hmm. Um, Very hot out there, flies bloody everywhere. So I've done all the prep work. Uh, you don't need me to see me chopping a lettuce and tomato and all that crap. You know how to do that. As I said, I'm not doing anything special tonight. I haven't made a video for quite some time, about three, four weeks now. Um, just going to do some 
chips and some steak and that on the fire. I didn't even really want to do that because it's actually really hot, but I'm going to do it for you guys. So, um, yeah, just zoom in, Melissa. Just a little bit of salad, tomato, cheese, um, some scotch fillet steak there, thinly sliced, and we've got some beautiful Turkish rolls. Just going to go up the standard frozen chips tonight. They're not actually frozen anymore. I thought them out a bit, and we're going to whack them in there in the fireplace. Bit of bacon. So I think what we'll do is we will go outside and we'll get the chips on. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the chips in there first and let it heat up as the oil goes. And the reason why I do that, I've explained it in other videos before, is you don't want to go putting frozen chips into very hot oil on an open fire. Um, that becomes very dangerous if it spews over, could go into the flames and all of a sudden we've got a real problem on our hands. And at the same time, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to do that. We'll put those in there. These steaks are scotch fillet. Uh, they're really only going to take, once the frying pan gets warm, I wouldn't say any more than a couple of minutes, a minute each side. Uh, bacon and onion will probably take the most. So anyway, uh, enough of this shit. Let's go outside and start cooking. Bloody council worker, leaning on the shovel. Anyway, we've got to get these chips in here. And we've got some nice coals there. We're gonna, as I said, not a big fire, very hot outside. Well, I'll say very hot, it's just nice, but got to be a bit careful. So, we'll add some chips. You hungry, Jess? Yep. They're always hungry. Pull the lid off this. Via Bada Shoestring. Yeah, we can cut up some chips ourselves and all that, but not tonight. I don't actually think these will take that long either because um, they are a smaller chip. That's nice fresh oil in there. Just vegetable. Take those in there. Oh, yeah. As I said, as the oil gets hot, that will rise. Uh, ooh, lucky it wasn't hot, see? That's why you put it in before it gets hot. I've already got me uh, scooper when they do get hot. So while the coals are hot, we'll just whack them in there like that. And um, once they're on their way, I'll bring out a little bit of a plate we'll move them off to the side a bit and we'll put those steaks on as i said it won't take that long they're only like two minute steaks but i need to bring the plate out a bit earlier because onions and the bacon will probably take longer than the steak so we'll catch you shortly as you can see guys just point down to the oil mortar she's well on its way and it's only been really just a couple of minutes so as i said they're pretty small chips they're not going to take that long, so I'm going to take them out of the direct heat. So I don't really want them done yet because I'm going to put on some bacon and onion and get that crisp up because I've got a few steaks on there. So we'll do a little bit of a rearrange process here. This is where the old welding gloves come in handy. So you can fix your fire and uh, not burn yourself. So we'll just put him over there for the minute. Knock these coals around a little bit. So, just get them over there. Now you've got to be careful when you're using gloves like this that you don't hold on it for too long because it does get hot. I mean, they do save you, but you'll know it when they start warming up. So we'll put that over there. I reckon we might just put that there and if I get the shovel I don't want to be in the fire myself because it's bloody hot I'll try to get some of those coals we've got some more there 
and we'll just try and work with the fire. I'll put that over there. Yeah, that's got some real heat in it. I'll even put that tray off to the edge, I reckon. I reckon we'll just locate that there like that. I've already um, oiled them up in that, so anyway, that's how we're looking at the minute. Um, when I start doing a bit of turning over and stuff, we'll get back to you. And even those chips, I might pull them out a little bit further, because I don't want them getting real hot too quickly, because then they'll just sit there to the side, so. Oh, good, I'll see you in a minute. Yes, things are sizzling away nicely. Time for the chef to uh, relax and have a uh, nice cold beer. These bloody flies, I tell you. I suppose we better get used to that now, eh? Yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. Cooking on the open fire, it's just a bit hot at the moment. More of a winter thing, I reckon. But uh, this construction you see behind me, that's going to get some decking. And we'll put a bit of a Weber barbecue and... Uh, couple of other things up there, pizza oven, because that's the thing, you know, if you're doing a roast or something, it's fine, because it's in the, it's in the coals and you're not near it, but when you're actually frying, you probably want to be doing that on a barbecue or a little bit of away from the fire, so, but as I said, I haven't made a video for a while, so thanks for joining me again, uh, been a bit lazy, but a bit busy too, so, this weekend's actually been pretty nice, there's no wind, the sun is out, it's absolutely beautiful up here. Um, Melissa's here with us and Jesse, and they've been having a good time on their motorbikes. So, got to enjoy those sessions while you can because they're all growing up and going their own way. And soon I'll be just lonely old dad here drinking me beer by myself. So, cheers to you. Bloody ripper. See you soon. Just giving things a bit of a turn. If you've ever cooked on an open flame, you'll realise that it's not like your conventional, obviously, cooker at home where the heat's even. So we've got this big log here, come off to the side. Um, you're always going to get a difference. So you'll notice I've put a little foil there, like one of those ones where you'll get a lasagna in or something from the milk bar or pizza shop or wherever you might get that sort of stuff. Tuck shop for work, really. I did that because I've got to put steaks on here yet, and you obviously don't want your food getting cold. So as this cooks up, look like him, he can come over here. That's getting pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll whack the bacon and the onions and stuff in that little tray there, put it off to the side, and... Um, that will stay warm and we'll whack those steaks on. I might even just push those over to the side now because it's pretty hot up the back there. I don't want them burnt, burnt. And they're looking pretty good too, so let's not cremate it, eh, while we're, while we're in front of the game. Put them in there. That one probably, maybe a little bit more. Put it on one side. Put that in there. They can go off to the edge. Might just do a bit of a rearrange again. It looks pretty good. Might just pull that back. It's a bit hot over there. Yeah, that'd be right. Put that there like that. Still gonna stay warm. All right, stay with me. Don't go anywhere. Let's go and get some steaks. Stay there. I'll be back. I'm going to push those chips in a bit harder now because when I twirl them around with the tongs, you can still feel they're soft, so they're not crunching up yet. So. Thin scotch fillets, salt and pepper, and I've put a very mild German mustard on them. So, 
nice and side down. Got the nice sizzle we want. Now yeah, there's four steaks and only three of us. Because I'm going to do something later on if I feel like it, which I will. Because I like you guys. And um, I'm going to do something a little bit later on. That's why I want the extra steak. So as I said, I'm just going to move this a bit closer in because she's quite a lot losing a bit of its heat. It's the beauty of these gloves, if you haven't tried it, really have a go. Because um, it's pretty good, you don't do any hand. Put that there. And it's just about placing your wood and don't be in a rush. Um, I'm going to keep Normally I wouldn't turn these steaks and keep checking them and all that, but when you're on an open fire like this, sorry, you're getting a bit of smoke in the eyes. Um, you've got to keep checking stuff unless you want it burnt. Well, I do anyway because I'm not that good at it. So anyway, keep going here. When we turn them over, we'll get you back. Pretty much there, guys, as you can see. A little bit of blood's come out of the top. I do like my steak. With these ones, actually, I don't mind it a bit pink, but I usually, with thick steak, do like my steak brown. I know that's not the done thing, but um, it is for me. So we're just going to turn them around like that. Put the other end closer. They're not going to, they've got like a minute left now, and I'll draw them back. Um, we'll even pull them back a little bit. They don't need that amount of heat. Because the chips have still got a bit to go, so we might just tip them there like that. Let's go a little bit. Just close. It's not that hot over here. And, um, put that over there. Put that there. Give them a little stir. Really, the chips that are holding me up now, and I on purposely pulled them back because I didn't want them burnt the shit out of while I was trying to do this and you know work it all in. So, what I'll do now is I'll bring out the rolls and the salad, and we're going to build those outside, not inside, because it's adventure cooking. We're out in the open, and we'll make a nice meal. So I'll see you shortly. Welcome back, guys pretty much done, we're going to build a nice sandwich. Grab that. Very, very hot. So be careful with what we're doing. So, why don't you keep a glove on? Because we know what I'm like with hot oil. Go and get the special tool. Makes things a bit easier. Move that sauce bottle. Definitely move the beer back. So, I'll we'll just spin that around. The handle goes down one way. Yeah, a real good little tool, this. Just um, drain some of that oil off. Jesus, there's a lot of chips here. Flies are a bit of a pain, but that's what happens when you live in the sunbird country. We get used to this now. I don't know how our regard stayed in business because I don't actually reckon it really works. They've become immune to it. <laughs> I'll get that last little chippy out and then I'll do myself a favour and get rid of that right away from me because then there's no mistake of me burning himself. Go hard with the chicken salt. Don't be a pansy. And again. Right, all good. So, let's build a box. So what we're going to do is 
we'll build my one first and then I'll build so you can see what it looks like and then I'll get the other guys done and we'll have feet. So excuse the hands but I don't have COVID-19 or anything like that. We're all good now. A little bit of lettuce. I'm the only one having tomato because my kids don't like tomato. What's wrong with this? Bit of cheese. And I'll be having onion too, which they don't. Have a look at that, eh? Nothing wrong with that. I'll uh, grab a couple of pieces of bacon, press him down. I'm going to burn myself. No. Good onion. I'm the only one that has onion. So that's what we're going to do there. Holmesy's build a box. Nice little squirt of sauce. And a little bit of a American mustard. I need to shake. That was Melissa just farting. She's laughing now. What are I doing with me lid? What? Like Push him down. You're not going to stuff it in your gob like that. You do it real wanker style. On an angle, like so. And eat your chippies. Oh yeah, they're nice and crunchy. Well, you don't get this out of the bush every day. Holmesy's, Holmesy's Adventure Cooking in the Bush Cafe style. I'll build these guys meal, get them more happening, and I'll see you later on. Thank you. guys as you can see uh new t-shirt new day it is sunday we've left the um farm uh last night i spoke to you about doing a little dish after dinner we didn't do that we were just uh, absolutely chockers from the steak sandwich and the chips that we had so we're back at home and i put the leftovers with me so i'm going to show you today just to use up all the food that we got from the um farm and this will basically close off the video. I've just started editing what I did yesterday and uh, we'll close it off with this video. So we'll do this quickly. So this is a nice little thing to do at night time when you're around the campfire and you've got some leftover steak or chicken or whatever. Now what I would have done yesterday is I would have um, done this in the iron pot on the fire and put some coals on top. Back again, have to go inside and get the meat. So what we've got in here is um, steak left over, cut very small, um, and the bacon. But I've come home and seen that uh, there's a bit of KFC chicken, so we'll whack that in too. So what we do is sprinkle that in. This is just a nice little snack at night time when you're enjoying your drinks. Just pan down there, some shallots. And what we want to do is got this you can use tasty or any melting cheese. I've got the Mexican style. 
Um, it's got various different cheeses in it. Let's get that in there. And basically repeat the process. As so. Sorry, it's a bit windy, guys. And we're going to whack the rest of that in there. We're up and ready. Uh, a bit more cheese. A lot more cheese. We love our cheese. I'm going to put the whole lot in there. Really just mix that around. Put the shallots in. Yeah. So what I would have done is, that is actually designed around that iron pot. And um, that sits inside. That would have went on the fire. Coals on top and we would have melted that right in. And it would have made a nice snack. Put it on in the griller. Once it's done, I'll pull it out and I'll get you back. Welcome back. Just about ready to pull this out, guys. Let's have a look. Uh, zoom in there, Melissa. Have a look at that. Even one of the chips got a little bit of... Um, oh, it's a bit difficult, doesn't it? Yeah, so there we go. Turn that off. So if you have a look at that. Look at all that gooiness there now. The stuff underneath, that'll stay a bit hard, but yeah, I'm going to uh, have a nice cold beer now and uh, enjoy my corn chips. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you on another episode of Mark's Adventure Cooking very soon. Cheers. <laughs>